So how are you doing today? Doing well on this Saturday afternoon again in the mag room. All around the world you can hear them. Hey, hey, hey. Talking about using kind of funny stuff. Hey, hey, hey. Mag room. Mag room. The mag room. The mag room. Two weeks in a row in the mag room afternoon. They found out my thing last week was uh, walking pneumonia. That's why I was all. <laughs> oh, I got yeah. another. I got another thing. So that was my. Was like not I, related to my first thing. Yeah, I, I kind of apologize. I alluded to the fact that you were in the emergency room, and we didn't really go into any detail yeah. about it. So if the listeners are clamoring for information, apparently Jared was had walking pneumonia. Yeah, and, and then listening to the better. episode, I definitely feel like I sounded more haggard. You know, maybe people but, like that. Maybe they thought that was my sexy voice. Um, we did get some mag bag this week. Um, we did the story about the snow plow and naming the plow. Mm-hmm. I got some. I got some. I got some feedback. People liked that story. Uh, your mother also enjoyed the snow plow, but oh, it's she, been a while since she wrote in, right? Yeah, she was worried about. Um, saying that you couldn't really fight these animals. What? So the animal. Remember last week about my you mom fighting? doesn't think. Please. Yeah, she doesn't believe. She, it. Knows she I'm f- read a book. I about am an a, animal. About a woman who became a forest ranger, and she occasionally discovered a human head that had been decapitated by a bear. Well, I said I wouldn't fight a bear. I'm not going to fight a bear. I know, she I'm said, not crazy. I know that Mark is strong, wily, and fearless. <laughs> Wiley, huh? Yeah, yeah. That's probably a de- that's a decent description of me. Even when he should be cautious, but really, that's what she said. Really, what? What did I say? I would. I said I could fight a coyote, right? Or a wolf. A wolf. Coyote? Yeah. Wolf. You went pretty hard on I stick most by of them. That. You didn't do elephant, but you had a lot that you went in. The boa constrictor. You said you could get. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah. So I just gotta I dress think, appropriately. I think she was questioning some of that. Um, Aaron also emailed. Okay. Who was on the show? I wonder if he ever wants to come back. He could come back sometime. Said first time emailer, long time listener. He had a question though. He said in my kid's school, it's a normal thing to change your name to something cool. Yeah, he said if you guys could change your name, what would you change it to? Hmm. He said he would change his to Bruce. <laughs> Sincerely, Bruce Snow. <laughs> And you wouldn't have anyone. I mean, Michelle might, if I changed it to something, she might want to have some conversations about what I'm choosing. But you don't really have anything holding you back. So the question is, what would I change my name to? Yeah, I, I, mean, I, like... I, might, I might go with, um, if I could start over, I think I might go with Rod, just the last three letters of my name. Or you could me... just spell your name the right way. No, just have people call me, how about Rod Sisk? It sounds pretty... You want Pretty you, powerful. you you want to insinuate that you have a huge dong by using that, and don't pretend you're that doing what, it just because you that like what the that name does? Rod. Yes, everybody knows that if you say the name Rod, like, everybody's thinking about a penis. Like when I introduce myself, I'm like, yeah, my name is Jared, but people call me Rod. Everybody's mm-hmm. mind immediately goes to your <laughs> promise. Jared you. has a large penis because he's yeah. Rod. Um, Which is I, cool. I mean, that's not you a bad. I don't think it's a no, bad no. thing. So you run I mean, with it's it, better Rod. than the other way. If my went like, yeah, I want to go with Tiny Penis as my nickname. Yeah, a little pencil dick over there. And, uh, <laughs> so do you want me to call you Rod from now on? I don't know. It's weird to change at this point. I just feel like if I was starting over, because um, Jared's taught. I mean, like you said, spelled differently. People always want to call me Jerry, which drives me crazy. Brennan does it all the time because really? it drives oh, me crazy. Son. Yeah, that's and I, wanna, I just want to punch him. Do you do it? What I call him Bernard. I changed his name to Bernard, which he hates. That's cool. I had to keep doing it till I found something he didn't like. That's how it's a good relationship. Strong. It's cute. Yeah. Strong how we father and son make fun of each other. Just uh, trying to get under each other's so what skin. Would, so what would you do? Um, I'd Mark's Hef- pretty powerful, so you might have to do something a little softer. I'd be Hephaestus. Hephaestus. Where is that from? The Greek god of fire. Okay. I'd go with a lot of different. I think Greek gods have cool names. Like Zeus Einloff? Mm, I'd want to be someone of the sort of more idiosyncratic, esoteric, lesser known. You know, everybody would probably do Zeus. 
But like, you, you think know. everyone would change their name to Zeus? If well, most had... people that would go with a Greek god I name, see. or a lot, I bet would go with Zeus. I'd be. You're the one you picked is hard. Like I already forgot what it is. Hephaestus. Yeah. Hey. And then Hephaestus you could be like, up. Hey. Pleased to meet you. Her her face is in my pants. Her face. Where's her face? Is do you know where her face is, Mark? Can you pronounce my name correctly? It's Hephaestus. Hephaestus. Yeah, that's what I just He's said. The Greek god of fire and blacksmithing. <laughs> Where's their faces? Why are you uh, making yourself laugh so much? I don't know. My new name. I, How about I, Ajax? Okay, could I be Ajax? That sounds like, isn't that the thing that cleans floors? Yeah, that probably does insinuate that I'm a <laughs> janitor. Uh, sponsor, Ajax. <laughs> God, about, he cleans a good floor. <laughs> Anything else you got? I got a few. I had one thing that happened to me this week that I thought maybe you could. Cool. I don't know. So uh, I have a customer who came. I think I told you last week about him, but I, I don't know if we put it on the show. He came in and he told me basically that he's dying. And uh, so we, oh, had like yes. an, we had like an hour long conversation. And it was really I like talking to him. And then he's came back like three times since then just to talk more. And we had talked about music throughout the time we knew each other. And he just brought me a hard drive. It's a four terabyte I don't okay. really know much about computers. That's a lot of memory. So he said it's four terabytes of music, and he said there's of around, music. Uh, he said there's around eight hundred thousand songs on there. Holy smokes! And I said oh, that's really cool. Thank you for for doing that, for bringing it in. And he said I just I was happy to give it to somebody who will. Uh, I forget exactly what, what his wording was, but it was like I'm, I'm happy to give it to somebody who will use it or or distribute it. I think it was more like you'll share it with people and stuff like that. Did he so say? Did this, you tell him? Like, did he say his last wish was that he would give it to someone who would go on, like, American Idol? So now you have to well, use that I mean, music Joe, to you're practice. Stupid f- joking aside, now I feel like I have, like, an obligation to this guy, sure. don't I? So what should yes. I do with it? What should I do with my 800,000 songs? Did you plug it into it yet and see if the songs work? I haven't really had time to do it. Uh, he just gave I it to me. I think the guy's playing the long game. Like he comes in and what he put a bunch of he's porno- dying. He put a bunch of child <laughs> pornography on it, and then he's going to report or me some to sort place. of virus to <laughs> steal all your information. That wow, would that would be a f- cool move, dude. Yes, I think it would <laughs> you, be worth it. Hopefully, that's um, hopefully it's just music, and I'll send you some uh, CDs. You know, I told you <laughs> we do a CD every year of like songs we listen to as a family. So you told we Paul gi- and I we, about this. We gift it. Most of my family just throws it in the garbage or whatever. <laughs> but there's a few people that I was just do. I was working on it today with Brennan. Yeah, he wants, he wants there to be a couple Minecraft music songs on it, which are like background video game music. So those will be on this year's. And it's kind of progressive. It was easier when they were under five, and I could just pick 18 songs I like. Yeah, and to listen to now it's yeah. more. Oh, cool! More Pearl Jam. There was, there is always a Pearl Jam song on it. Yeah, I got Teddy into dancing. This he he likes rocking out to, like this year, Animal will be on the CD, and he likes rocking out to this, like in the kitchen. He's a good dancer. It's fun to dance with your family. Yeah, we always my sister and my mom and me. I, like when we're cooking in the kitchen at the holidays, we're always playing music and making fun of each other and dancing and stuff. Mm, it's fun. Twirling them around, everybody's giggling. Yeah, no. no. Like maybe you're giving a little tickle in the stomach. Oh, no. We're not real touchy-feely, no. no. It's more like, what kind of dances are you doing? And more like, stay like away interpretive, six feet. Interpretive <laughs> dance. <laughs> <laughs> like, I will dance like a turkey now. <laughs> that I'm I, mean, cooking. I don't talk. Oh, nobody, nobody smiles or anything. It's real, <laughs> just weird stares. And... But it is fun. But it is fun. <laughs> I just had a great vision of you, your mom, and your sister doing <laughs> interpretive a, dance. An interpretive dance off that your while dad punk, judges. While punk Christmas songs. So yeah, make the CDs, man. I miss that. Remember, people used to make things for each other like that. And okay. now you have like a I want to be I want to I feel an obligation to this guy to do something. It's some work for you to okay. choose. No, no, no. I, I want to do it. A certain I just, number I just of wanted songs. you to I wanted you to tell me what to do. I think it's great. And yeah, okay. we need some sort of title. What's the guy's name? Oh, uh, his first name? name's Wayne. I can't what is his last name? But it's uh, Wayne. So you need some like Wayne's World? Wayne's World Volume 1. Wayne's That taken already? I feel like I've heard that before. <laughs> World of Wayne? <laughs> The Mundo Del Wayne. 
something that says it's from this guy and you you picked some songs you liked and Wait, you can even memory. write a little letter with it and just mail okay. it to random people this is kind of a cool idea and see what you hear back all right maybe someone will say wow that's that actually a pretty good idea great and you could write the story That fits with one of the stories I have today, actually. So there was this family um, that had money was tight. This was from USA Today. <laughs> this this was the one line that I did love. She was like, we were depending on our church to help with Christmas presents, and we got food baskets from them. Like, it was kind of like a rip on the church. <laughs> like, yeah, that sounds... Like, uh... like, they were supposed to help oh, us, thanks. but instead they gave us food. So uh, how do I plug this food basket into my um, <laughs> video game system? I don't understand the mechanism here. You did it? Did you see the list that I gave you from my yeah. son? Yeah. PS4. Wanted a, Is there a PS4 at the bottom of the basket you underneath didn't need the, a, you didn't the need straw? straw? All right. Yeah. So they went. They, they were working tons of hours and trying to have a good Christmas for their kids, and they had to get their kids had to get their hair cut. And she had some money. I mean, haircuts aren't cheap. So she had like three kids and her. Go to a barber's college. So they went to great clips, but then someone paid for them. Like just paid for them and like didn't tell them who they were. Just said, hey, I'm going to pay for that family's haircut. So she had like, I don't know, 80 bucks or 100 bucks. But I get to to choose the haircut. I do that all the time, but (laughs) I get to choose your new haircut. (laughs) Well... She just, I don't think they did that part because she complained about the food baskets, but not about the weird haircuts that her kids got. So basically she had that money um, for the gifts. And then every year since the family's done, like done this thing where they do random acts of kindness for people for 25 days. So recently they went to Walmart, bought three $10 gift cards and told her sons to hand them out to just people in the store. Just go up to them and say, hey, here's a gift card. Then one son said he found some family where the kids were like, oh, can we have this? And the woman was like, no, we can't get that this week. So they gave it to them. He just walked right by them and bought a new basketball with the gift card that his mom gave him. The kid was like, remember that food basket when I didn't get that video game? Yeah, go f*** yourself with your $10 gift card. It's mine now. So they pick something nice to do for someone each day leading up to Christmas can be simple as holding a door, paying for a coffee. They say they try to pay for at least one family's meal at like a restaurant. Holding a door? You should do that on your own, just of your own. I know. So they, usually they don't decency. hold the door. Oh, yeah. I think it was just an example to say 25 like days could get expensive. Yeah. So you just Holding try. the door doesn't count for all you people listening out there. Probably you should not. do that just be by every day. Hold the door. Last the year door. they drove around leaving 100 Candy and note-filled Christmas baskets on strangers' doorsteps. And then they wrote, The family has gotten no community recognition for their good deeds, except an article in USA Today. Yeah. But that's not why they do it. Yeah. So why did they do it? I think to give back. Yeah. They wanted to get in USA Today. That Mission was their whole goal. Right, wouldn't that would be great at the end? We really started yeah. this so we could get in a newspaper. I wanted to look good in front of my neighbors. Who never hold the door for me. So it was related to your CD, like mailing, making a CD and mailing it to someone. Mine puts more thought into it than holding a door for somebody. I I win. I'm the better gift giver. I don't think that's... (laughs) Even though I haven't done it yet. I don't even think that's really the message. It's my goal. I don't care about the message. I want to win. (laughs) And to, like you said, you haven't done it yet. So I think you also have to, you can't just think about doing it. I'm just going to send this. I'm going to (laughs) send the hard drive. Here you go. Here's 800,000 songs. Aren't I the best? Though. Like I think if we all, I was thinking of that with my kids. Like if I, if we had something that we did something nice, not holding the door, obviously. But how about going out Christmas caroling? Like you and your whole family go and sing Christmas songs. We go to, sing. I love like, singing for Christmas like an hour. Carols. I've known. I don't think I've ever opened my door to Christmas carols and carolers in my life. What would you do as a caroler? No, like if we, as my family, you don't know me. My family comes up and we just are outside your door and we're just singing Christmas carols. It would make me emotional. Yeah? It would. You definitely. think there's any downside? You think anyone would get pissed? <laughs> Probably. There's, there are a lot of <laughs> out there. 
Yeah. Um, That's no, sad. maybe not. Maybe you couldn't get pissed at a little family going around singing songs. Yeah, I mean, we just sing like a song. We're not. No, gonna, that's that's we're not going to stay there for like. No, 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 can't go in yet. Can't go in. The show's not over. <laughs> There's a big costume, song costume change. Give me two seconds here. I'm be right back. Let me just run to the car. First, Joe, this is wonderful, and then <laughs> like this, thirty minutes later, this song twenty four. Are they going to stop? Take three. Ready? <laughs> oh wait, we messed up. We got to do oh, that. One. Maybe that everybody, me... maybe everybody could think of something nice to do, though. Yeah, that's the that's the fun of Christmas. People, just, you're just nicer, or well, hopefully you are. I don't know. <clears throat> Not you specifically, just you no. people. Hopefully, yeah. people get into that spirit. I know sure. I do. As a pretty uh, yeah, you're a giver, pessimistic, sarcastic guy in in my life. I do get into Christmas, and I like the whole yeah. helping people out thing. I think sometimes you you're good at like being both. Yeah, if you're pessimist and sarcastic with people you know. You don't have to be that way with, but then other people, you're a nice giver person. I mean, obviously that guy who talked to you saw something in you. Maybe you should have been like a psychiatrist or something. <laughs> dear Muga, Hi. my parents. So, so it's dear Muga. I'm marrying my sister's ex. Mm. My parents said I'm disrespecting family by doing this. Which is funny, since my sister was the one. Who this is a girl writing it, right? Yes. Okay. Dump my fiance to go join ISIS. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch sent text messages to everyone before boarding the plane, <laughs> and yet I'm the bad one for getting together with her ex long after she left. One would think joining an extremist group that murders innocent civilians <laughs> would make them see things differently. It was months after she left the country that we started dating. I disowned her. She's not my sister anymore. She had him first and she chose to leave him, then go be a terrorist. <laughs> and my parents are upset with me getting married to her ex. They told me to choose. Either I choose family or my fiance. They couldn't accept it. So I told them my fiance is good. Fiance is going to be my family now. They couldn't accept it. So I am never seeing my parents again. Oh, and there was one postscript that'll make you funny. And then for anyone else comments about me sharing a with my sister, Jesus. he has been saving himself for marriage and is still a virgin, just like me. She never got his Maybe that adds to some of your information as you She doesn't give talk advice like a virgin. Here. No, I don't. She talks like no, a No, she wasn't. He was. But I thought she was too. Didn't she just say at the end, as am I? Oh, yeah. Just like me. She she's doesn't got, talk like a She's got a little virgin. bit of a sailor mouth. Man, she's a skank-ass virgin. So do you think she's making the right choice for... <laughs> There's a lot of, like I said, a lot of layers in there. Oof. She should not... I don't know. That's weird. I mean, people do that kind of stuff all the... Well, sister to brother, have I ever known anybody like that? I've known some people that do weird... I've known some weird crossover relationshipy things like that. I don't know if I've ever heard... I've known friends like... um my ex-wife's sister married the guy she married was stole her away from his best friend oh, so wow. they've they've never spoken as far as i know they've never spoken again he hates yeah. him he's threatened to kill him and everything um that's a lot like if you so i could like, i think had, you're one of my best friends if you had a girl that you were dating and i stole her away from you that's not i wouldn't even enter my mind that's so I've had and I've had three different times in my life. I've been I once was told one of my friend's girlfriends told me that she wished she'd met me before she met him because mm. she loves me because she loves me. I remember you saying that it happened to me earlier in life once it happened to me three times and I have such an adver a aversion to like I could sure. never if it's if no. I'm a, definitely a bros before pose guy yes. when it comes to that kind of thing. So well, as one, as it's I like stand a, on that, but that's one. You're like that's fucking family, though. Yeah, you know, like it's a, how it's one, sister. how would other people think of like you're thinking of that a little bit, right? Like this, and this is just not worth it. I mean, well, I don't think you should do it for why other, what other people think. I think it's no, but even at the minimum, I'm saying that's like at the lowest level. Oh, okay. Like okay, if I okay. do this, okay, people I'm a dirt. Are everybody's gonna think I'm a dirt bag. Yes, and then you have like hopefully some sort of moral code Self, as well yeah yeah yeah. but even so, at the minimum without that if you yeah. don't have a moral code just that like hey well, maybe maybe you're just like well, i can live with other people thinking i'm a dick like i feel like if you and me were you had some friend lady friend and then you joined isis <laughs> and left the country 
and we didn't really talk anymore because you were now ISIS. Like, I feel like it's just sort of, at that point, no one would really blame me if I got together with the girl. Yeah. Like, you know, it's, that was Mark's girl. You remember that? I'm like, dude, he's an ISIS now? Do you <laughs> yeah. understand? Like, he wants to kill us. And he comes home every <laughs> once in a while, but... <laughs> Yeah, I don't think you're allowed to come home once you join ISIS. I think that's kind of a no. That sucks. Country. I don't know. Maybe not. Not even for Christmas. <laughs> I don't know if ISIS celebrates Christmas. I don't. Seriously? <laughs> do they do Thanksgiving? So you're come. You're saying the I'll whole story is this thing. I'll join ISIS if I can come home. So for it's either awkward. You come back for the holiday. Yeah, and I run into her ISIS. In town. Yeah, and and then you run. Everybody's into us. out the night before Thanksgiving. Me I and have her my, caroling around the um, neighborhood, and I'm wearing my burqa and my. Uh, Would you like bomb us? You'd probably kill us. I mean, at that point, I think. Uh, I'd declare declare a, a fatwa on your uh, <laughs> on your relationship, for sure. But I don't even know if you're allowed to have those feelings anymore. So it's probably ISIS a doesn't let me have feelings. Not for American women who aren't ISIS. I wouldn't. Th- I think there's some rule about that. You can't date well, I mean, a non ISIS woman. I don't want a girl that's always got a head thing on and stuff. I want, you know, I want a girl right. with pretty curly so hair. You're kind of and... like, you're going to kind of bomb the interview for ISIS, you're saying. No. Like, can I just I'm join still this? Into the, yeah, I'm still into it. <laughs> can I just join this? But like some of the stuff. I to, can I, I, do, can I be like a la carte ISIS? So would there ever be something you're, a family member could do to you that you would then disown them there has to be right yeah sure so yeah. say like if Lori joined isis you might might be a little weird i don't know and then i try to start dating ed is that what you're saying <laughs> yes uh-huh. you guys get married it's a, huh. uh, no I mean, i'm just saying like basically ed would be a, ed's a good husband like if All you're right. at, at home and, this. and your mom and dad are like you know it's i know Lori's in isis now but it's you know we're still she's coming home for thanksgiving you guys are <laughs> you excited I know she hates I America she fried, and everybody I she fries a turkey again. Everybody in it and probably will try to kill us in our sleep, but we're really just hoping when it works out. <laughs> but Ed and I are getting married. My parents have a lot to deal with this Christmas. <laughs> Took a big turn from you guys just doing interpretive dances in the <laughs> kitchen. It's a lot it used heavy. to be so simple. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, all right, well, the it. second one I think you'll like. So Christmas is coming. I know you're really good at giving Christmas gifts, or I've heard of gifts you've given. So there was this article about how to give the perfect Christmas present. So I thought I would read it and then you to respond to it, because I don't know if I agree with everything in it. But this was from Financial Times, actually. Um, this advice guy that I like says, Christmas is coming. And I have to go, I've got to think of presents for everybody. Dear me, it's so tedious. Presents did not fly about in those days as they do now. Says her aunt what? sympathizes and recalls her youth. Oh. A time before gift giving became excessive. So that was from a story in by Harriet Beecher Stowe in 1850. Okay. So same sentiment as today of some people. Um, it said before that, before, I don't know if you knew this little history, the Christmas was a riotous public bacchanal. But Christmas, it wasn't like Halloween, but the Christmas weren't trick-or-treaters, weren't children, but gangs of inebriated young men demanding beer, moldy cheese, and money. So I guess men went around on Christmas asking for beer, cheese, and money. Like it was like the second Halloween for adults. I didn't realize that. So in 1820, they rebranded Christmas Eve. That was the story, right? All through the house, not a creature was stirring. So it was supposed to become more of a calm holiday. And then it became commercialized to the giving the gifts. So that was the arc of Christmas. So this person, this he's an economist. So he asked people, like other psychologists, like what it can be challenging to be a gift giver and people want to be better at it. So you pick something um, overall. So what, here's some things that they said, and I, I'm not going to read what they whether they said it was good or not, and I want you to react. So one said, picking a gift from a wish list. Nope. These guys said, it may seem joyless and unimaginative from the perspective of the giver, but recipients see such gifts as thoughtful. 
Nope. So they disagreed with you. I don't care what you think about it. I'm buying something a, uh, that I think of. How about a sloppily wrapped present from a friend? Doesn't you know. matter. That's okay with me. Yeah. They, this one said it may lower expectations of what's in it, so it actually will come off better. If you do it the right way, that might be kind of badass. How about uh, conspicuously luxurious gifts to women early in a relationship? Hmm. Conspicuous. What was the term? Conspicuously, conspicuously what? luxurious. Like, I don't know, diamond earrings or. I guess if you do it all the time, then it's gauche and annoying. But if you really like the girl and maybe she mentioned something about uh, uh, earrings that she liked and you want to get her something, I think that's okay. So this one advised not to do that. Yeah. I probably. The, the women say, often feel a sense of obligation. I bet my gift giving strategies are 100% different than most people's, I think. I don't sure. even know if I'm a good gift giver. I just like to I just like to give gifts How about in a, a weird way. A t-shirt with a logo too body to wear in public. No, don't do that. So they had a couple examples of that and they said no because while it's funny when you get it, like when you open it, what's the point of You yeah, don't really can't. I'm not gonna it's, wear more, it. it's more about the gift giver. I'm not going to wear a t-shirt with the word on it to the supermarket how about giving experiences over something physical that's an awesome that's great very good yeah, yeah. it said it's hard because it's like an ass beating it's not as fun <laughs> it's not as fun to unwrap it like now that like tickets are like a qr code or um and then that was sort of the end here was like not not all practical gifts are bad so sometimes you can get someone a practical gift no i know i know i just like being i like creative yeah. interesting odd things that maybe you would never even think that you wanted like i think there's different levels right the idea of it's saying here a little bit surprise is overrated and i think there is different levels where there's probably a lot of gifts people get that people think are good for them are a surprise and people just like throw them out because they don't want them yeah and a, a level better than that i think is the practical gift like i asked my dad this year i wanted a uh, I want. I, we have a small freezer, so an ice maker, something I can make. It makes ice, and you can have yeah, ice for your separate drink. Separate from the refrigerator. Yeah, it's very practical. It's not. I mean, yeah. anything exciting. But then, and then the level of the highest level is something that's a surprise that the person really wants or figures out they want or is fun. So that's the like gold standard. But I think the article is kind of saying a lot of people live in the third level. Yeah. Of they try to be. Uh, surprising about it, but they're not good at it. Yeah. So, so what should that? I mean, I don't know. Well, what I think. Do you, like, what do you, what you think you, about that? You bought. All right. So Jay Tarsus was our first guest. He was the guy that was on Teen Wolf, and Jared got him two. If you watch any of the videos of him on YouTube, he's always wearing a baseball cap. And his buddy that helped us get him on the show, I think he had a ball cap on when we saw him. And um, I thought it was a cool. I, you got him give uh, hats from your from your school. I don't know. I forget if you if they had like names of team the. Uh, one was just the standard H, and one had the Bearcat on it. I told them yeah. they could pick which one they wanted. Yeah, so, so I think that's cool. I mean, I, even you know, even if you just wear it to do yard work or something like yeah. that, yeah, kind of a kind of a fun little thing. Um. So yeah, last uh, six six story. story. This was one you actually gave me. Um. I'll just read the title. Liver King. The TikTok creator who eats raw bull testicles for dinner is on steroids. Yeah, his name, real name is Brian Johnson. From ACDC. Did, uh, did, had you heard, like, did you, did you know who this guy was before I sent it to you? No. Okay, I didn't, re I, I just started hearing about it last week. Like, it came out maybe a week ago, I think, that this guy's on steroids. Okay. <laughs> so it was... Just one of those things that came up on my like when you turn put on YouTube, it feeds you stuff, and so that was one of the things that popped up on mine. And I clicked on it because this guy, so he looks like fucking Yukon Cornelius if if he never wore a winter coat. Um, he, yeah, he's shredded, just yoked, just jacked like a his abs look like biceps, you know, and uh, just one of those things like well, obviously he's on steroids. If you listen to go on and, and and type in Liver King Apology, I think, and it, yes. it'll pop up like a six minute video of him it, shirtless. He, he talks like a wrestler. He talks like a professional wrestler. Yes, here is the here is the uh, statement. 
I stated that this is a complicated as <laughs> topic. <laughs> At least to me it is because before social media, I was rich and anonymous. And after social media, I'm still rich, but no longer <laughs> anonymous. I never expected this kind of exposure in the this, public eye. Yeah, he wasn't going for this. I put videos of myself eating bull testicles and raw liver out on the internet, but I didn't want, I didn't think people were going to make a big deal about it. I just, I'm just a guy that likes to eat raw organ meat. Said he spends about $11,000 per month on steroids. He was also accused by this guy, um, Derek. It's a YouTuber who, of the YouTube site, more dates, more plates. I guess it's mm. a weightlifting. Yeah. So he was also accused of having ab implants, which I was saying to my brother. Looks like it, right? If, I mean, I was, if there was anything I was going to get as like plastic surgery, probably would be ab implants. Really? Well, abs are just hard. I mean, I don't have abs. I mean, you don't take your shirt off all the time. I know, I would, but I but would. But you would start. You would start. Yeah. It look, I mean, it looked weird when I went, like if I went, I went to the beach last summer, I basically have like a, I got like a man belly, not a, not a huge dad belly. bod. You're probably yeah, a dad, dad bod, bod guy. That's so cool. if I went from that till next, this next summer, I'm just ripped. Just, just gone. Yeah. Shredded that'd be great. abs. <laughs> yeah. I, might come off a little weird. That would be, would that really be what you would do if you were given a free, whatever plastic surgery, you know, one procedure? Yeah, I'd I do would, hair. I'd get I'd get, hair get your again. hair back. Yep. You don't you don't think that would look weird either? You all of a sudden would. Yeah, it totally would look weird. But I'd move to a new city, and then people wouldn't know Let's me. You know? What kind of hairdo would you get? Long, long, long locks like really Derek Fabio. Yeah. Can you no. grow? Can you? Grow I just want my old haircut. Right? I want my old haircut back. Could you I'd, grow I'd be long right now and be bald on top? Can you do that look? You think? The I have that U shaped. Balding yeah. thing and the hair. So you could grow down. The sides grow, but the top. Yeah. I mean, there is still hair on the top, but it's wispy and, and it doesn't yeah. really grow at the same speed. You know. Yeah. It actually, kind of does. I guess it does get a little long, but I, I just yeah, shave. but not in as many spots. No. Oh, it looks terrible. Yeah, yeah, it would definitely look terrible. That's what I have, too. You sent me this guy. I was like, who the f is this guy? I don't. Yeah, everybody go watch it. I I, I laugh throughout the whole thing. It's so disingenuous and stupid. And um, but this guy makes money. Off this stuff. And, oh no, I know. Does Maybe he have three point five million followers? And he has supplements that he sells. I mean, it's got to be like kids. That's it's right? gonna kill him, right? Though, because obviously he said I got this look from my supplements, and now that's not true. So. It's kind of could kill his brand. If our brand ever takes off, we'll be real. We won't. No one. Nothing will come out that's we faked. Hmm. Unless you editing the episodes, maybe. Like, yeah. wait a second. It's not just a half an hour. You guys talk more, and you're not that interesting. This is weird. But we've never purported otherwise. It's true. All right, should we get anything else? Should we finish up? Produced by The Liver King. Theme song by Mega Galox. Email mugaandcisco at gmail.com. It was awesome to get some emails this week. Mm-hmm. Um, Instagram and Twitter are still alive. Magroom Pod. Remember to put down your phone this week. Maybe get some people together, do some caroling. Yeah. Or- Go sing Christmas carols, people. Pay forward, may do some kind for mm-hmm. someone that they don't beyond holding the door for them. Yeah, you can. I mean, you can still hold the door for people too, but do something extra. Yeah, but don't think you're special because you did it. Yeah, and then um, the festival, February fourth. Get your tickets. There's no tickets. Come to it. We'll be there. Um, some food trucks, food carts. Yeah, and. Um, I'm going to read the last line this week of my Emerson about an embracing the day. This day, for all that is good and fair, it is too dear with its hopes and invitations to waste a moment D-E-E-R? on the E R? No, D E A R. Oh, okay. To waste a moment on the rotten yesterdays. So embrace today, put down the phone, and Go chase as a deer. always. Kill a deer. (laughs) 
The thing that will help you above all else. Venison. Is to stick with the mag room. Oh, right. And everything else is cream cheese. You think you'd get that at this point? I forgot. <laughs> I know it got, yeah. All Idiot. right. Nice. Ooh, ooh, I like my groom. I like my groom. Ooh, ooh, my groom is good. My groom is good. Ooh, ooh, I like my groom. I like my groom. Ooh, ooh, my groom is good. My groom is good. The my groom's good. Ooh. Ooh, I like my groom. I like my groom. Ooh, ooh, my groom is good. My groom is good. She never got his d-